Bob Rosenthal's a very special person for Emmitsburg. He's probably our best ambassador. When I think of Bob, I think of Will Rogers, and uh, he never knew a man he didn't like. And I think that's what Bob puts forth. He can separate actions from the people and, uh, and uh, uh, keep that in balance. Living in Emmitsburg here all my life, Bob's always been a, a big part of the community. Uh, and he seems like he always takes on the jobs that nobody else wants. You never saw anybody standing in line to be the scoutmaster. Uh, you never saw anybody standing in line to take care of new programs or things that, that nobody was going to like. He, he's always willing to take on those challenges. It's been my pleasure to have known Bob uh, well over uh, three decades uh, now and uh, just the ultimate professional in everything he's ever set out to do. But uh, the community and the people who live in our greater metropolitan uh, Emmitsburg uh, region uh, are the benefactor of his incredible talent. And uh, they've been involved, uh, he and his wife Jean and the family have been involved in so many aspects of uh, community service. They, the list just goes on and on. But certainly not to forget uh, his work with our local fire department, our uh, Emmitsburg uh, Volunteer Ambulance Company, uh, where he has spent just untold hours uh, videotaping uh, fire events and serious automobile accidents and out in the uh, worst of the winter weather and the hottest of the summer sun and all hours of the day and night. Our awards program, which uh, has probably been one of the biggest uh, things that we have done here in the fire department uh, over the last 10 years, we were not very good at rewarding people and Bob saw that as, uh, as being uh, something we needed to correct because he He's a great people person and he's always looking to, uh, to, to make things better. He's been a friend of uh, uh, the young and the elderly. Uh, he's gone out of his way so many times uh, at personal expense to uh, be there to photograph uh, major uh, moments in, in the lives of others. And uh, it's hard to find a photograph of Bob, quite frankly, because he's always on the other side of the camera. Officially in connection to our fire department uh, and our ambulance company, uh, Bob's been our official photographer and videographer for many decades now and uh, his career as an operational firefighter, uh, his involvement in all manner of administrative activities uh, and uh, supporting those in the community and their you know, times of need is really uh, legendary. Bob Rosensteel has been an outstanding member of our community for many many years. Uh, Bob, Bob has been on the Board of Appeals Longer, I believe, than I've been in town. I've been here since 1995, and Bob has been on that board and has been the chair member and done an outstanding job for the community and always gives up of his time and effort and tries to see the good in all and the best decision for the town, the applicant, and everybody involved so everybody gets a fair shake. I started attending meetings last year, and it didn't take me long to figure out uh, how much Bob was involved with the fundraising part of, of the association. So uh, certainly uh, uh, knowing Bob has, you know, I've, I've certainly enjoyed my years knowing him and, and I know that he is a tremendous asset uh, to this uh, organization. I've known Bob for many years and am truly proud to call him a friend. Uh, we have quite a few experiences together but one certainly comes to mind and that would be the 2009 uh, Christmas tree on the square that the uh, that a group of us uh, put up one Saturday morning about a year ago and uh, I'll never forget uh, forever embedded in my mind is is uh, Bob on the first floor of the uh, hotel building with his hook that he proudly borrowed from the from the fire department to, in which we used for uh, hanging the lights on this uh, monstrosity of a tree in uh, about 35 degree weather. Um, and we were all soaked head to toe, which uh, made for a whole lot of laughter that particular day. But uh, Bob leaning over the rail with his hook from the fire department is something I will never forget and uh, holding on to his arm so he didn't tumble 20 feet below, but uh, it was just one of the many fun moments that uh, I've experienced with, uh, with my friend Bob throughout the years. It's an honor to be able to say that Bob Rosensteel is a good friend, and he has a tendency to call up and say, hey, I've got an idea, and probably my favorite conversation with him 
and I remember it so well because he, it, there was a special tone in his voice and he was so excited about it. And he calls up, he goes, hey, you got a minute, I got an idea. And I pulled over and I looked at the clock, it's five minutes after three. And I said, I've got some time, go ahead. And he said, this is an idea and it's about putting boxes in businesses like Jubilee and those places and we'll collect the change out of everybody's pocket and we'll get them to put the money in this box and then all that money goes to the Emmitsburg Food Bank. Bob came in and asked whether he could set banks out. I think those little money things that around town for people to donate and sure, you know, we said yes. And I know when the first time that money came in, it was over a thousand dollars, I believe, or and that just that just floored us. The, we have a board of one person from every church that sort of runs this, and we were just amazed. And then when it came in, as often as it does, like I said, over ten thousand dollars, I just can't believe it. None of us can, and it just keeps coming. The other, the other, just wonderful experience that I've had with Bob. Not that there aren't about a million, um, but the other most wonderful one was working with him um, with Two East Main Street and, and the gift of, of working with people who had lost everything and except their lives. That Monday after the fire, Bob calls me up and he goes, you know, I just left from there. He said, they're having cold breakfast. He said, we got them warm breakfast. He says, I've got it matched, and they've got McDonald's for the next 10 days. They can go to McDonald's as often as they want to, so I know they're going to have a hot breakfast. Those are the things that people don't realize that Bob Rosensteel does. It just shows what one person can do. One person can do this for his town. Uh, it, it, it actually blows my mind, and I tell people all around, about Bob Rosenstiel. He's such a caring person. Um, and I would personally like to, like to say thank you, Bob, for everything you've done and, and you are a blessing to this community. It speaks very highly of you when you can say that you have Bob Rosenstiel as, as your friend. And I think that's where we hold him in the highest esteem, even in the face of all of his uh, accomplishments. And, uh, Congratulations, Bob, this is a great award. Bob, you're very deserving, and there's uh, no one that has taken Emmitsburg to heart any more than you have uh, ever since I was a, uh, a youngster to, to today. You, you, you continue in that, and Emmitsburg means a lot to you, and uh, we can't thank you enough. So from my family and from the, your fire department family, congratulations. For me, I can't say anything else except Pray for me, Bob, that we can all be like you.